Hey there guys, welcome to this video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and in this video I'm going to solve a two-part analysis question for GMAT. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, uh, so this is what a typical two-part question looks like where you have a question and you have some answers which can be answered in two parts it's because there are two parts associated to it. It's kind of like a problem-solving question, however uh, uh, you know, the, the format is a little different. So the question says that loan X has a principal of 10,000 X uh, with a simple annual interest rate of 4%. Y has uh, a simple annual interest rate of 8%. Now, remember that the, the concepts for simple interest would remain the same. So you would have to prepare for quantitative reasoning section uh, thoroughly if you want to uh, do well in this particular section. So, so this question, if you actually read it, I'm just going to read it out to you. So you've got two loans and then both loans are consolidated to form an interest rate of 5%. Now typically these questions have a lot of additional content in it. Uh, if you actually look at quantitative reasoning questions, uh, uh, no, no, there's, there's not even a single word which is additional. But in these kind of questions, you would find that you've been given a lot of additional information. And I would say that in this question, this whole thing is basically just additional. Uh, what you can do is, whenever two things are being combined, uh, whether it's interest rates or whether they're mixtures, you can actually apply allegations to it. Now remember, we discussed allegations uh, thoroughly in one of our videos, whenever two things get mixed up. So you got, you, you're mixing up two things. You have, you're mixing up a loan of 4% with a loan of 8%, and overall you're getting 5%. So this is what you're getting, right? So that's essentially what's happening. You're mixing up a loan of 4% for X and 8% for Y, and overall you're getting 5%. So it should be mixed up in what ratio? So that's what we do. We apply allegation for it. So we'll do 8 minus 5, which is 3, and 5 minus 4, which is 1. So it has to be mixed up in ratio 3, ratio 1. So x has to be 3 parts and y has to be 1 part. If you're not familiar, familiar with the concept of allegation, I strongly recommend that you watch, the, watch that concept. It's going to make your life very, very easy. So X has to be three parts and Y has to be one part. So what we can do is we can start looking up in the answer options where we can select the values of X and Y, where X is three parts and Y is one part. So we'll start off with Y. If Y is 21, then X has to be three times it, so that would be 63, which is not one of the answer options. So I'm just gonna type A, B, C, D, E. So that means for Y, so that means for Y, answer option A is eliminated. If Y is 32, then X has to be three times it, which is 96. So B is one of the possible answers. Uh, if Y is 51, then X has to be 103, which is not one of the answer options. If Y is 64, then uh, X has to be three times it, which is not part of the answer options. Similarly, if Y is 81, then X is not part of it, which means E is also not the answer. So that means we're left with only answer option B, which means that Y here is actually 32, and X is 96. So our answers to this two-part question, of course, it's not going to be 32 and 96. Our answer is going to be that X is F and Y is B. So this is going to be our answer. So again, uh, the multi-source reasoning question, if the, the, the takeaway from this question is that the concept is similar to simple interest and allegations and mixtures, it's just that they give additional information just to you know, give you more, more, more to think about it, uh, and they give, they give you more time to solve these questions, so, so that kind of makes up for it. Uh, it's just that the question format is a little different. However, you really need to practice so that you, you become accustomed to solving these kind of questions. So that would, be the, that would be it, guys. Thank you very much for watching this videos. Don't forget to check out our website for more courses 
uh, on GMAT. Uh, we will also be coming up with, uh, we, with, we will also be updating our course with respect to the changes in the GMAT uh, as a new GMAT is coming up uh, and multi-source reasoning questions are going to be part of them. So thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Please subscribe for more content. I'll see you in the next